it seemed to be that you kept MMA and wrestling as your passion and utilized the business world to support it. Am I correct in, in kind of thinking about how that worked? Yeah. But I mean, trying to make a living at the MMA side of it or the pro wrestling side of it. I mean, that's a, that's not an easy task right there. Um, running a gym, you know, I don't know if you consider that a business. I think a lot of those guys have jobs, not businesses, you know, and they hmm. got to go there and they got to pound it and they got to try to, you know, save money, conserve this, conserve that, and and just try to get by doing it. You know, we, I, I had the luxury of having a, several outside businesses, which were a pain in the ass in their own right. And there was a lot of time mm -hmm. the last 25 years where I wish I could have been spending more time in the gym doing what I like and less time being at work, which, you know, if it was something you really liked, it wouldn't be called work. Um, but you know, you're hundred percent right. That was a, that side of it was successful, and that allowed me to fund the stuff that I like doing. You know, some people work hard to make money because they want to go out on their boat or go fishing or go skiing or, you know, take vacations to this place or that place. I like making money so I can spend it on MMA. 